Alrighty guys, welcome back to the third episode of learning how to script on Roblox. Today we're going to be having a look and printing, at printing and concatenating. Okay, so what is concatenating in Roblox scripting? Imagine you have two values, let's say a string value and a boolean value. So let's say your string value is the boolean value is equal to and then we could concatenate the actual value of the boolean into the, into the script. Have a look at how to do that here in a minute. But first off, I've got this little example for you guys here. So I've just set a quick variable uh, name, uh, tiles, that's my YouTube name, my YouTube uh, channel name. And so I've down here, I've just got a little uh, print function. Uh, print hello, my name is and then see these little dots here these are the concatenation dots so when you see this these dots here are basically stitching these two values together so the first value obviously is uh it's just printing hello my name is and then actually the name value up here is a string value and it's equal to tiles so what's going to happen, obviously, it's it's going to print hello, my name is, and then it's going to see that we've concatenated this name value, which is a variable, um, into our string. So then it's going to also print after this, after the end of this string, whatever the value of this is. So let me show you how that works. Now if you have a look up in my output, it says, hello, my name is, and then the value, which is tiles. So that's how that works. Now we can do this with lots of things like um, boolean values, string values, uh, int values. It's like, we can say, let's rename our variable to number val, and we can make it 50. And then we can just concatenate the number val variable into here, and we could change this text, and we can say, and then number value. As you can see, the number is 50. So we have stitched these two values together. All right. So let's say we wanted to say if we're in a we've make we're making a round game, and we want to. Uh, have a little status update telling us when the game is loading, when the game is finished, who's won. We could um, add a. We can add a little value up here in replicated storage. I'm just going to get a string value. I'm just going to rename this string value, just so it's nice and easy. And then we can just set our variable and tell the script where to find this. Let's do local. Uh, we can do just string value equals game. Dot, sorry, not service storage. What am I doing today? Replicated storage. Um, and then we can just do uh, wait for child and just put our string value name. Uh, let me zoom that out there for a little bit for you. After that, uh, set the strings value in our script here so we can do see it's right there string dot value equals and let's make it say this is uh, hello my name is tiles and now we can come down and print uh, we can concatenate two uh, values together so we can go print and we can just say uh, string value is, and then we can just do a little colon. Uh, you don't have to have the colon, by the way. Uh, and now we go to dot dot concatenate our value, and then we can do string value dot value. And as we can see. The string value is, hello, my name is Tiles, up here in our output. The first string, which is already a value set within the print function, the print parameters, 
and it's print the string value is and then it's just come up to our um well we've concatenated in our string value dot value so the scripts remembered that we've set a variable up here these variables and the script knows that string value is equal to our string value that we have up here in replicated storage string value and we've set its value to hello my name is tiles so what's going to happen what's happened is it's uh, stitched this to this basically it's just added this on now this is useful for when you're doing like round games and you're um saying how many players are left or how much time is left like a timer that this was a really good one because you can do your 4i 4i is in the next video so watch out for that one so yeah that is concatenating pretty much now you can do this with most values just make sure you set the correct um value you write the syntax correctly or you will get um a t an error called attempt to uh concatenate um, string with instance and stuff like that so you want to make sure you add value onto the end if you get that message you see if I take dot value away what happens is that when I run this it's gonna error because it says attempt to concatenate string with instance so we want to make sure we actually define what about instead of the instance itself we want to uh, get its property which is the value its property is the value and obviously up here we've set its value so we've string dot value equals hello my name is tiles and then we've just printed that value so it's printed the strings value is hello my name is tiles so that's all there really is to concatenating really obviously it goes with like round games I mean you'll find this in murder mystery 2 you'll find this in pretty much any game with a timer any game that has values like uh, a coin, uh, like uh, and a value that tells you how much money you have, and they concatenate that value that your player has, and things like that. Um, you guys will learn about how to use these much better in a later video when we have learned about some more scripting things that will go along with that, so you understand it better. That's all there really is to concatenating, like I said. And of course, quickly, if I just come down here, print. Obviously, the print you can print values, and you can print. You can print pretty much anything you want, really, as long as you write it correctly. There's not a whole lot to print. It doesn't do much other than tell uh, print what's happening on the server or local to the client. Um, yeah, but other than that, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff, if you found it helpful. But other than that, see you guys next time. Bye.